Hello everybody and welcome to Mr. Stansfield's education videos. Today we're going to be taking a look at how to mimic a cyanotype using the Pixlr app. Now, if you want to try to make a cyanotype, there are lots of videos out there on how to do it. You don't need a darkroom. It's one of the cool things about the cyanotype. You can do it with just a few chemicals and a kitchen sink. So if you're interested in that, check it out. For today, we're just looking at how to mimic a cyanotype using the Pixlr app. So let's go ahead and jump in. First thing you wanna do, open up the Pixlr app on your phone. Click on Photos, and then select the photo that you want to edit. In this case, it's gonna be the yellow leaf against the white background. Click the star at the bottom of the screen there, scroll over to the right, and you're gonna see negative as an option. Click on negative, and then click the green check. Once you've done that, click on the star again, and this time you're gonna swipe over seven times until you see vintage. Once you're there, choose Nash. You can see here, click the green check mark, and at that point, you're gonna go ahead and click done, and then save image. Now, Pixlr is a free app. Um, it's ad supported, so you may get an ad here. You can fast forward, close that, and then click Save Image. And it says Save to Camera Roll. You know that it has completed. And at that point, if you wanted to, you could navigate to the camera roll and uh, try to um, just double check that you're actually seeing it. So here you go. If you click on the photos, there's the edited photo there. Voila. That is how you can mimic a cyanotype using the Pixlr app. Now, um, depending on um, what you're trying to do with your cyanotype, um, this is really specifically for mimicking a photogram using a specific shooting style. Um, and so for folks in my class, this is sort of following an assignment where I've asked students to photograph um, a, something natural against a white background, um, a leaf, for example. Um, this is mimicking the work of Anna Atkins, one of the first women in photography and the person widely credited as being the person who created the first photo book. Um, and so we're trying to mimic that style. Now, if you wanted to try to make a cyanotype style image using a photograph, you would skip the part where we changed it into a negative. So the negative is what mimics the photogram, um, and there's a kind of a different approach to that. If you're interested in, in, in looking in how to do a cyanotype mimic, um, there are probably some other ways to do that, but this is really just focusing on that kind of photogram style, Anna Atkins style of uh, making a photogram cyanotype. So there you go. 